Ever pondered on how an igloo, a house made from snow, can keep humans cozy? An igloo, that intriguing structure built entirely from the very element we associate with cold. It defies logic, doesn't it? Yet, it's a reality that has kept the Inuit people warm for centuries. This seemingly paradoxical phenomenon can be explained by the fascinating science of heat transfer. It's about how heat moves and how substances like snow can insulate against the cold. Isn't it fascinating? Now let's delve into the science behind it. Snow, it's more than just frozen water. It's a fascinating natural phenomenon that hides a world of science within its delicate flakes. Let's delve into its physical properties. You see, snow is mostly made up of air, and air is a pretty poor conductor of heat. Imagine you're holding a hot cup of coffee. The heat from the cup doesn't easily pass through to your hands because the air is acting as a sort of thermal barrier. This is the same principle at work within a snowflake. Each flake is a complex structure of ice crystals and air pockets. These pockets trap air, and as a result, heat doesn't pass through easily. So in essence, snow serves as a natural insulator. Its ability to trap air means it's not just a blanket of cold covering the earth, but a shield against even colder temperatures. So, the snow itself is a barrier to the cold outside, but there's more to it. The design of an igloo is no accident. It's a beautiful blend of art, science, and survival instinct. The dome shape is not just aesthetically pleasing, but it's also structurally sound. This shape allows for an efficient distribution of heat, ensuring warmth is evenly spread throughout the igloo. The entrance of an igloo is more than meets the eye. It's a small, low tunnel, designed that way to serve as a trap for cold air. This ingenious design keeps the biting cold air out while allowing the relatively warmer air to circulate inside the igloo. Now let's talk about the interior. The inside of an igloo is warmed up by body heat. But how does a structure made of snow prevent this heat from escaping? Well, snow is a fantastic insulator. It absorbs the body heat instead of allowing it to pass through. This heat is then slowly released back into the igloo, helping to maintain a steady temperature inside. In essence, an igloo is a brilliant example of how to use nature's resources to our advantage. The Inuit people, the original creators of igloos, have leveraged the properties of snow and a smart design to create a shelter that can withstand the harsh Arctic conditions. The design of an igloo and the properties of snow work together to create a surprisingly warm shelter. But how warm can an igloo get? You might be surprised by the warmth an igloo can provide. Now, when we say warmth, we're not talking about a cozy fireplace kind of warmth. We're referring to a temperature that hovers around the freezing point, 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's this very temperature that can save your life in the harsh, unforgiving polar environments where the outside temperature can drop to negative 40 degrees Celsius or negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This difference in temperature, albeit not a drastic one, is significant. It's enough to keep people safe, to prevent hypothermia, and to allow life to flourish where it otherwise wouldn't. The igloo does this by trapping body heat, creating a warm interior that becomes a sanctuary against the biting cold outside. The warmth of an igloo, it's not just about survival, but about thriving in the face of adversity. So there you have it. The humble igloo is a marvel of thermal engineering. So what can we learn from the igloo? Well, first and foremost, we've seen how an igloo, a seemingly simple structure, ingeniously uses the insulating properties of snow to keep its occupants warm, even in the harshest of climates. This marvel of design and construction makes the most out of the available materials, in this case, snow, which is abundant in the Arctic regions. The Inuit people, the original architects of the igloo, demonstrated remarkable understanding and respect for nature. They learned to work with the environment rather than against it, utilizing the unique characteristics of snow to create a warm refuge in the midst of a freezing landscape. So the key takeaway from our exploration of the igloo is this. With a deep understanding of nature and a touch of human ingenuity, we can create solutions that not only survive but thrive in our environment, no matter how challenging it might be. The next time you find yourself in a snowstorm, remember the igloo. It's a testament to human ingenuity and survival.